Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing Scooby-Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights, a tight spot for a gray plot. Here's the save point if you want to save your game. Go to the left and make sure to walk through the warp gate to activate it. In this area, there are a lot of invulnerable ghosts, so we gotta do our best to avoid them. They're enemies we cannot defeat. As you can see, they're on the top with all those Scooby Snacks, and on the bottom here. So we just gotta avoid them. Now we can't get on top of this building yet. We'll be coming back here with another invention in order to get up there to collect those Scooby Snacks. So we're just gonna focus on the bottom here right now. Now by these holes, you can see there's this key that pops up. Just jump over to collect it. We have three keys to collect in this area. So we gotta be careful to not fall in the holes while we're collecting the keys and do our best to avoid these ghost enemies. Just one more key to go. Now before I collect the last key, I'm gonna go to the right. Move slowly here because there's a zombie that pops out. All the way on the right, here's the door that's locked and we need the three keys to open it. So let's go back and collect that last key. Again, the Super Smash isn't enough to get you to the top of that building to collect those Scooby Snacks. So we'll come back here later for those. Okay, that's the last key. So now we can go through the door. This leads us to a tight spot for a gray plot part two. Now ahead of us, you can see there are some Scooby Snacks. We'll be getting those in a bit. But on the right here, you can see there's a switch. By using the Super Smash invention on it, it doesn't keep it activated. Ahead of us here, we have another switch. Again, the same thing. These switches do not stay activated by using the Super Smash. Now be careful of this gargoyle. Let's try to take care of him with the Super Smash. There we go. And then go down here. This leads us to another switch in the door. This door is locked. Now in order to open this door, you need to have all four of these switches hit and activated all at the same time. So we're gonna start making our way up following this trail of Scooby Snacks. Be careful not to fall off these stone blocks. Now at the top here, you can see there's this object on the edge of this platform. What you need to do is use the helmet invention to knock it on the switch. So that's one of the switches taken care of. We have three more to go. Now if you jump up at the right angle off camera, you can collect a few Scooby Snacks. Now continue right. Just wait for these blocks to come out of the wall. Now let's hit this object off the edge onto another switch first. So that's two switches taken care of. Now as you can see, there's a monster token below us. What you need to do is jump back to the block on the left, and then just jump in through the opening on the left to get inside here to collect the monster token. Okay, let's continue to the right. We have two more switches we need to activate. Okay, here's the third one. Let's knock this object over. Okay, that's three switches taken care of. One more to go. Now this one we can't ram off the ledge. What you need to do is jump onto this dangling chandelier. Just hold on to this, and what you need to do is swing into it to knock it over. So to swing into it three times, this will knock it over on the switch. Now that all four switches are activated, the door is unlocked and open. Now swing all the way to the right and land on this structure. Here's a sandwich if you need to heal. 
but floating in the air. There are, are a few Scooby Snacks to collect. Make sure to collect those. As you can see, the door is open. Now, I'm not going to go through that door yet. I'm going to go back to save my game. This will be the end of Scooby-Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights, a tight spot for a grave plot.